Good morning, Leavenworth Pioneers. Today is April 1st, and PTV is back with yet another episode. This week, we have a wide variety of segments from entertainment like Morbius to the Battle of Departments to information on the upcoming Skills USA. Let's move right on the loo with entertainment review of Morbius. Morbius the Living Vampire, aka Dr. Michael Morbius, uh, is a fictional character appearing in Marvel Comics created by writer Roy Thomas and originally designed by Gil Kane. He first appeared as an enemy of the superhero Spider-Man in the Amazing Spider-Man number 101, October 1971, and now is an anti-hero in his own comic. He doesn't appear in many things, but he does appear in Spider-Man the Animated Series, voiced by Nick Jameson, and appears in the Ultimate Spider-Man as a two-parter episode in Season 4, voiced by Ben Dixon. He also appears as a boss in the Wii, PS2, and PSP version of Spider-Man 3 film tie-in game voiced by Sean Do Donnellan. And even appears in the 1998 Blade movie as an alternate ending that ended up being deleted later on. And he's now on his own film in theaters today. Go ahead and check it out. Seems like our dark prince is afraid of the light. Where'd he go? Thank you, Lou. Be sure to check it out. Next up, we'll take a closer look at our own students as we turn both to a Q&A and a student survey with Bella and Evan. With the large multitude of classes we have here at LHS, everyone's going to have different preferences. Let's hear what our fellow classmates are enjoying. My favorite class is Spanish 1 with Mrs. Hernandez. And I like that class uh, because it's interesting and you get what you put into it. AP Chemistry because um, Mr. Palmer teaches it and he's a really good teacher. He makes everything really fun and understandable. Um, and chemistry is just a fun subject for me, so that's why I like it. My favorite class is Foster's Consumer Math class because he teaches everything really well in a short amount of time. This has been a Q&A session with Bella B for PTV. About what their favorite music genre is and what music means to them. Here are the results of a survey. Many students said that music helps them in many different ways. Here are some of their responses. My favorite genre of music is probably indie music. I like country and western and musical theater. Well, music brings life to your soul, doesn't it, Travis? So much life to my soul. It's very lively. I think it also, music is also very helpful in the developmental of your brain, in, de in brain development. As we begin April, some of our students prepare for a series of competitions at the end of the month. Skills USA and TSA are career and tech-based organizations that allow students to compete throughout the nation, and many of our own pioneers will be participating this year. Let's look to Kaylin for more information. Very soon, several departments at LHS will be competing in the Skills USA competition. It will be myself and a few other select individuals competing for a state and possibly national title. I decided to interview Ms. Strigo, the advisor of the Skills USA competitions. What is Skills USA? So, Skills USA is a CTSO program, uh, which is a career and technical education program where students get to go to state and national competitions in a career event such as automotive and drafting and uh, photography and video production and different events like that. What departments are competing in this competition? Um, so Leavenworth um, this year is taking uh, architectural drafters and mechanical drafters and they're taking uh, TV uh, and cinematography. In the past we've taken automotive. Uh, we're also taking a web design team this year which we've taken web design in the past as well. We've also taken Cisco in the past uh, and placed very well. What are these departments competing for? So um, the students that take uh, first in the state of Kansas get to move on to nationals in Atlanta, Georgia this year. They'll be the first year we go to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, they will be competing against other students around the state of Kansas. Uh, this is also a, a college event, and so there will be um, uh, different colleges there uh, competing. Um, and this are, will be our first year in Atlanta, Georgia, so we're looking forward to going to Atlanta. How many years have we competed in this competition, and where have we placed in past years? 
Okay, so Skills USA started, I believe, about 19 years ago. It was the first year that we competed in Skills USA, and we've competed every year since then. Uh, and almost every year we've had a team place in the first in the state and gone to nationals. We've had probably three or four or five video production teams go to nationals, had several architectural drafters go to nationals, several mechanical drafters go to nationals. We had a web design team that's gone to nationals as well. Then, to get a better understanding of what it's like to compete, I interviewed Audra Frankie, who's previously placed high in this competition. What department are you competing for? I am competing as part of the drafting department, so this year I am competing in technical drafting. How many years have you been involved with Skills USA? This will be my second year. I started last year as part of my um, tech and design class. So I was competing in technical drafting too, although I did compete in additive manufacturing at nationals. A competition is no easy feat, so let's all wish these students the best of luck. I have been Kaylin Lee with Pioneer TV. Thank you, Kaylin. And if you are interested in competing next year, make sure to talk to your career tech teachers to see which categories could be open for you. What a way to wrap up. Keep in mind, Pioneers, that there are only two months left in school. Next week, state testing begins while spring sports continue on with their pack seasons with something every single day. Last but not least, don't forget to buy your yearbooks.